mix the food that's burning. It's not burning. Fearing me. Or maybe it is. I've never said that on my channel ever in my life. <laughs> So today is the day. The hardest part is always just starting, right? I don't know why I feel so apprehensive. I think it's because I tried to do that weekly vlogging. Oh God, no, it was like two years ago now. Was it two years? I don't know. But it, it scarred me a bit because it really drained me because I was trying to make these epic weekly vlogs and put as much editing and as much time and care into it as I do my normal big films and obviously that does not work and I basically had no time off. I was filming constantly, thinking about shooting different angles, making something so exciting and then I was editing all weekend which yeah I just never had any time off. I'm, I'm just currently cooking my lunch. Well possibly burning my lunch. We'll turn that off. So yeah, this is the start. The reason I've kind of decided to do this is because I really love making films and, you know, shooting content and stuff and telling little stories. And as I said in like the last video when I said I'm switching things up a little bit, and kind of twofold, I'm away from my friends and family at the moment and I thought it'd be kind of nice to give them like, I guess like little updates, I suppose. I'm just cooking some, some pasta and courgettes for my lunch. I have not told Tom yet that this is the plan. This could be interesting. <laughs> anyway, these little edits are not gonna be long and they're also not gonna be over edited with loads of music and all this sort of stuff, you know, like how I normally do stuff. But we'll just see. You gotta start. Starting is the important process, right? Just whatever you wanna do, you just have to actually do it. You just have to start. If you wanna start learning a musical instrument, there's no other way around it. You just have to pick it up and start practicing. I'm a little bit anxious because I wanna be able to keep this up. And as I said, I'm, I'm a tad scarred from doing this last time when I made it to, I think I made it to a, about, I think it was about six weeks. I did six weeks of basically not having a day off and not switching off from filming and yeah, it was exhausting. <sighs> Let's see how this goes. This is honestly just one of my favourite things. I just love pasta. Even just plain pasta, but you know, I've got to get a bit of veg in there because the baby and everything. They, these simple meals are just the best. Pasta, bit of cheese, courgette, and then I've got these um, bambini boccaccini. <laughs> What a great word, bambini boccaccini. Um, yum, just some of my favorite comfort food and a glass of squash with soda water. <laughs> Done. Another reason I'm starting this is because I wanna get in practice. When the baby arrives, I wanna be able to do like small, short updates. Again, for my family really, my friends and family and for any of you guys that might be interested because it's unlikely that they're gonna be able to come over, very unlikely. Um, it's unlikely that I'm gonna be able to go back to the UK for a little while, so I'm effectively gonna try and train myself into different style of editing and yeah, just practice being a little bit more raw as well, I guess. I mean, I am, you know, I'm always very real and honest, but this is gonna be a whole new level of real and honest and, you know, real talk and sharing my life with you guys, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome to some real proper behind the scenes of the life of Pocket Trailblazer in Dundee. He's probably not gonna wanna get involved. <laughs> he doesn't really like the camera in his face a lot, um, so this is gonna be interesting when I tell him. I'm gonna try and tell him on camera. <laughs> that should be interesting. Right, lunch done, back to work. I am so full now. All morning I've been editing the new series. The Thailand, retro Thailand. <gasps> this is what I've got so far. This is kind of what a very, very rough beginning timeline. Oh, 
excuse me, soda water. Um, this is what a very rough timeline looks like for me. Yes, yeah, so this is what I've done this morning. Trying to get the story together, it's sometimes a bit complicated. As I mentioned before, I'm definitely not gonna be stopping with the whole doing big stories, but this is just gonna be alongside that, basically. I really love making big, epic films. There's just something about it. I think, I, like I was saying before in the last video, there's a magic about going on a journey, you know, and taking you guys on an adventure and, yeah, it's all about the pacing and I just love it. I really love putting them together, but it takes a long time. And especially with this one, because if you saw the retro series, um, the last one, the Trek America, there's so many gaps in it where I didn't film because it's from way back and I didn't know what B-roll was and we, you know, we go for like, almost like sometimes like two days without saying anything on camera and so it's trying to fill in those gaps plus it was from a while ago i can't remember everything <laughs> i have a couple of photos to fill in the stories and stuff but sometimes i'm like Ugh. like at the moment i'm in this section where we got on a train to go from singapore to kuala lumpur and then there's just like this massive gap in the story of what the hell was going on <laughs> i don't really remember so i'm kind of having to piece it together and see what I can do to kind of string it string it along keep the flow it's an interesting one but I love doing it I'm gonna say something kind of crazy um you know Paddy from the Budgeteers he decided to start his own channel I was chatting to him yesterday about um possible names and um let me let me just show you this video quickly everybody who said that they would um subscribe if I started my own channel um, I, I did. <laughs> I just did it this morning with a cup of coffee. Um, I'll make my first video today and I'll um, explain everything about what I want to do with the channel, what the channel will be. Um, I'm just charging some batteries. you just got to start. You've just got to start. So let's just start today and see where this goes. See? This is exactly what I was saying literally a few hours ago. You just have to start. Because, I mean, otherwise, what are you going to do? It's never going to happen, is it? So you just got to just gotta start. I'm also so close to four and a half K on my channel. Just need a few more subscribers. YouTube back end for the video that will have gone up yesterday oh come on focus yeah uh, yeah so the video we have gone up before this one explaining what's going on i might have also accidentally bought a snickers ice cream from the supermarket <gasps> it's so delicious seriously since i've got pregnant i've just turned into a chocolate fiend chocolate and ice cream i never used to be like this i always used to love my salty snacks i loved like crisps carbs everything like that now I'm just like, mm, I love chocolate. What is wrong with me? What is this baby? I'm blaming the baby. Okay, that is enough work for today. It's Sunday. Ugh, I'm not supposed to be working. I'm not very good at these boundaries and then I just burn out. So I'm just going to chill. I'm waiting for Tom to come home and I'm going to do something that's my guilty pleasure. I never told you guys this. You know I love Disney. Well, I just adore watching people's Disney vlogs, like going to Disneyland Paris or Disney World. Yeah, I just love it. <laughs> it's like my escapism. And the good thing about it is it doesn't make me feel anxious because if I watch other creators and watch their um, like travel things and stuff like that, it just makes me sit there going, oh, I should be editing my series. Whereas if I watch like Disney vlogs, it doesn't make me feel like that. It makes me feel calm. Yeah, so that's my, one of my guilty pleasures and it's a secret, so don't tell anyone. These guys are my new favorite. They're called Sophie and Dave and um, I've just literally just put on a playlist of their Florida from like ages ago. I just love them. They're so genuine and just, Oh, they're just brilliant. I mean, look at these guys. They're just so excitable. We're going to Disneyland. We're going to Disneyland. 
I only found them the other day and I totally just love them. They're brilliant. They're just so cute and they're so just genuine and that's so hard to find on YouTube because everyone just performs and it's like, oh, I just want to see the real person and they are just genuine. So I'm going to just chill, relax and watch some guilt-free Disney on my Sunday. I might have given up waiting for Tom to come home. So... I'm cooking dinner now. We are having enchiladas tonight. That is Tom's favorite. He absolutely loves it. <laughs> it's pretty much one of my favorites too. <gasps> I love Mexican food. <laughs> Buddy, beauty, great page. Catch you later, man. Yay, he's back. Hey, Tommy Roo. You're filming me. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason. <laughs> I'm very windswept. <laughs> so it's alright, the contrast is horrible. Oh, there we go. You, I love that you walk in with a swag and what is that you've got in your hand? It's a battery grinder. Oh, obviously a grinder. Obviously. I'm having a bit of a nightmare over here, Tom. So this is the problem. They're all really stuck together and they've just like got... Suicided themselves. Su they have suicided themselves. So... We're now just going to make an enchilada lasagna. Perfect. <laughs> I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? This Adapt is... and overcome, Charlie. Adapt and overcome. This is exactly what we are doing. Great phrase. Oh well. Right, you go have a shower. I'll finish creating dinner. Enchilada. Lasagna. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Why are you filming, you weirdo? <laughs> just cooking dinner. Just cooking dinner. I'm filming because I'm starting a, a daily. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't tell you already. You, you've been talking about it. I've been discussing it slightly, but yeah, I'm starting a, a daily a daily vlog kind of scenario. Everyday life. Everyday life, exactly. Cool. So. You better mix the food that's burning. It's not burning. Deary me. Or maybe it is. This is literally the weirdest meal I've ever created. So I'm gonna just um, put these on top. This is not my fault though. Honestly, like, this is a, this never happened before. Seriously, I don't understand. We got the enchilada kit and we get them all the time. And um, yeah, this has never once happened before. We, we'll adapt, like Tom said. I'm just gonna put the sauce on top. There we go. We all know it's all about the cheese anyway, so. Ooh. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. It's not looking too bad, is it? I reckon that it'll be just fine. Yes. This is not bad, hey? Hell yeah. Have How's a look at it. I know. How's it tasting? Is it tasting good? I hope it's tasting good. It's a bit hot. <laughs> it's a bit hot. <laughs> mm. It's your favourite, isn't it? You love Mexican. Oh. I mean, not that this is really... <laughs> I mean, this is definitely a take on Mexican, the fact that we did some sort of, like, lasagna scenario, but, you know, hey-ho. I was just going to sign this off and realise that I've rubbed all the makeup into my eye like a, a raccoon. Ugh. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. This is the first one. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, this could be interesting. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. But please, please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. It really helps me out and it's free. Please hit the like button and drop me a comment to let me know what you thought. If you think this is a horrendous idea of me doing kind of daily updates, then let me know. If you love it, let me know. <laughs> and um, We'll see you tomorrow. I've never said that in one of these before. I've never said that on my channel ever in my life. <laughs> see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs>